Hi, it's Mark here with you today. Uh, I'm about to do something that's uh, long overdue. I'm about to go outside here at the range and uh, do a review on the Stoger Cougar 40 caliber pistol here. Um, I've had this gun, I kind of lose track of how long I've had some of these. I, I bought a bunch of guns. I worked at Academy Sports for four years, uh, two years as a team lead in inventory control with manager permissions and doing gun sales and finalizing gun sales and helping people with firearms and the discount that I got there played a big part in what I was able to do um, with the videos and with the Christian Gun Owner website. So this gun was a product of that. I bought this gun while I was there. When the gun hit the store, it was $299 and I got a 20% discount off of that. This is a gun that used to be the Beretta Cougar and I owned a Beretta Cougar in 9mm uh, about 12 years ago and um, did a review on that gun. It's still on the Christian Gun Owner website. Um, but if you look at the two of them, you look at a picture of that and you see this gun, I'll put it up a little bit closer, put it up there a little bit closer, you won't see much of any difference in the appearance of the guns. Uh, they are the, basically the same design that was with Beretta 12 years ago, with Stoger being a subsidiary of Beretta, when uh, Beretta passed on the Beretta Cougar line, it went to Stoger and they've been producing it under this name right here and under this pistol line. Um, this is a really basic pistol that came in at this price point. Um, price point doesn't mean it's not a great gun. It is a, a very fine gun, a gun that will last for years and years and years, probably outlast most shooters. Uh, but there's nothing on it. There's no features on this gun. There's no accessory rail on this gun. Nothing on this gun um, that no, no back straps that you can add, nothing you can do to it except pull it, aim it, and shoot it. But it is a very fine gun. It's a gun I would, I would bet my life on. I would depend on this gun. Uh, it has been utterly dependable. It's accurate. It is a double action, single action firearm if you're not familiar with those. Um, a double action, single action firearm will have a, generally have, well it'll always have a decocker. Um, when you have the gun ready to fire the hammer back. These are not like these are not like 1911s. They're not safe to carry in this condition right here with the hammer back, um, because you can't put the safety you can't put a safety on with this hammer back. There's no grip safety, um, so it's not safe to carry like that. Now, if you want to carry it, you can carry it ready to fire. You can do that by using the decocker. This decocker is ambidextrous. That's hopefully you can see that and it's not blurring. It's right here. It's also the decocker and the safety. So when I push down on this decocker, watch what happens to the hammer. Now remember, when you, when you have a magazine in it, it's got ammo in it, you rack that slide, when you push this down, that hammer's going to drop. That's a really weird type feeling if you're not used to it. But that does not fire the round. What it does is throws a block in front of the, uh, in front of the hammer that blocks that from the firing pin, and that keeps it decocked. You can carry it in that position, and it's ready to shoot in double action. The first if you leave it like that and you carry it like that, the first trigger pull is about like a double action revolver. It's about 12 pounds. But here's what happens with the hammer when you drop it, when you push down on the decocker. It drops. Now, if you leave this switch down, it's also a safety. Some guns like this come with just a decocker and no safety. You can decock them, they're safe to carry that way. You can leave them that way and carry them that way all the time. Or you can, with this one, it has an extra measure of safety, as far as manufacturers concerned, in leaving this safety down. In this position right here, it also makes the trigger inert. The trigger has no action. Pushing that back up, you can carry it like this, or you can carry it with the trigger inert. Either way, it's safe to carry. Carrying it like this, it's ready to fire, but like I said, you would have to pull it and you'd have a 12 pound trigger pull, about a 12 pound trigger pull on the first on the first pull. After that first pull, after that first pull, you pull that trigger and fire that first round, it's going to cock that hammer again, and after that, the rest of the rounds will be fired in single action. Feels like you're pulling a 1911 trigger. It's very crisp, very light, easy to fire, but that first one is long, but that still allows you to leave it in ready to fire condition and carry it safely, decocked or decocked with a safety on. So that's the way these type of guns work. Valuable. Some people love them. Some people can't hardly tolerate them. Me, I'm somewhere in the middle of all that. I've had this one for a long time. I like to shoot it. Uh, I'll typically carry this if I go fishing somewhere. I'll put it in a tech grip holster, put it down in my, 
my pants here and uh, it won't go anywhere or I'll put it in a tackle box in a, in a pouch um, in this decock position right here. It's ready to fire but it'll be in that decock position. It's an easy gun to carry um, and you don't have to fool with it very much to tuck it in somewhere and leave it ready to fire but still be safe with it. So that's the way these guns work. Come on out to the range here with me um, and we'll see how it works after I've had it for however long I've had it, three, three and a half years, something like that. It's how long I've had this gun. And uh, you can come along with me here and see how it's still shooting. Would I recommend the gun on the front end of this? Absolutely. It's a good one. They don't cost a whole lot of money. I hate it. A lot of people know I hate it when people say it's a great gun for the money. No, it's a great gun. This would be a very good gun. This would be a very good gun if it was $700. That's not how much it is though. A lot of people can afford these. You have a gun that you can depend on, carry under a lot of different conditions, very versatile for home defense or concealed carry. So come along with me to the range. Let's see how it's performing after all the time that I've had it and all the time it's been shot. By the way, I'm improvising today. I don't want people to get, I don't want people to be where they can't even pay attention to the video because they see this, but I'm got a, I don't have a holster for the gun, so I've got it decocked. It's in decock position. It's in a tech grip holster, and I'm holstering it right there in my pants pocket. I don't holster. I don't carry full-size duty pistols in my pants pocket, but this one works just fine just right there. Just need a holster for it, so don't worry about it. I don't carry it like this. I just need it right here for right now. <laughs> a long first trigger pull. You can probably tell the difference in those just in that first pull where I had to strain on that thing and really bear down and then the rest of them are just boom. It's like a 1911 after that. So a little bit more video on a different day with the Stoger Cougar. Here's a little bit more video with it. Gun performs, keeps performing. Decock. I'm not going to shoot a ton of rounds, just wanted to show you the gun. It's a wonderful gun, great great gun to shoot, great gun to carry. Uh, if you can accommodate something this size, a uh, great gun to have with you for home defense. The Stoker Cougar, double action, single action. I'll do another video on how to practice with one of these really effectively, uh, but this is a great gun, the Stoker Cougar.